We're learning about the world's first transplant of a genetically modified kidney from a pig into a human. It made the front page of the New York Times. So the procedure was performed last week at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston. And doctors say the 62-year-old patient is recovering well. Nancy Chin has the story. <laughs> The emotions of this historic achievement struck doctors Thursday as they recounted the groundbreaking surgery. It was truly the most beautiful kidney I have ever seen. On Saturday, the 15-member surgical team performed a four-hour-long procedure, transplanting a pig kidney into Richard Slayman. The kidney was genetically modified by removing harmful properties that the 62-year-old's body could possibly recognize and reject, while adding human genes to make the organ more compatible. Dr. Say Slayman spent seven years on dialysis and had end-stage kidney disease. He saw this as not only as a way to, to improve his own personal life, but a way to provide hope for the thousands of people who need a transplant to survive. Last year, over 15,000 kidney transplants were performed here in the U.S., but there are still more than 90,000 patients on the waiting list. Most people usually wait about three to five years to receive a kidney, and thousands die every year before their turn comes. Every week, we have to remove patients from the waiting list because they become too sick to get a transplant while on dialysis. Doctors say if this doesn't work, Slayman will have to go back on dialysis, but that they're hopeful this is the start of a new chapter. Our hope is that dialysis will become obsolete. For CBS Mornings, I'm Nancy Chen. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely amazing. Just incredible. I mean, if your family member needs a kidney, you'll take it from wherever, growing, however, and they say that yeah. one's working and yeah. it's beautiful. So and dialysis really is not news. a cure. Yeah. It's, it's nope. just... Nope.